Hi there, my name is Vanessa Warwick and I am answering more landlord FAQs in association with Mashroom. Today's question comes from Paul Barrett and he would like to know how many lodgers may be permitted before mandatory HMO licensing requirements have to be met in that instance where the landlord has a partner or is married. So in a four bed house with three unrelated lodgers and a live-in landlord couple be exempt from HMO licensing, including additional licensing if it's in force in an area. As you know, I am a big fan of um, having lodgers in my own home. I rent out two rooms um, and it brings in very nice income that covers my own mortgage and then a little bit extra. And as landlords we should be looking at every single way we can to sweat our assets and that includes our own home. It's very attractive to have lodgers because the government actually encourages it with um, the rent a room uh, a tax allowance which is currently seven and a half thousand pounds tax free per annum. So if you have a spare uh, room in your property, um, do consider renting it out to a lodger. It can be a great uh, additional source of income. If you are going to have a lodger, most lenders, if you have a mortgage on your property, will allow up to two lodgers. If it's going to be more than that, then you would need to check with your lender. But obviously, as Paul has indicated, you also have to consider HMO licensing. And um, for your answer, I draw your attention to the Housing Act 2004. And basically, if you read that, it would confirm that uh, the scenario that you described does actually fall under HMO licensing. Now, I'm not an expert on HMOs, so I actually did check with a friend and colleague of mine, David Smith, who is an HMO legal expert, and I'll just read you his answer just to confirm um, that that is correct. He says that um, the schedules would be set out in the Housing Act 2004. If there are three or more lodgers, then it's an HMO, at which point all occupiers have to be counted for the purpose of licensing. So a couple with three lodgers is a mandatory licensable HMO. Thank you for asking that question, Paul, and also for helping us to discuss the topic of having live-in lodgers. It's a great way to earn a little bit of extra income, and during these challenging times, it could make all the difference just to have an additional income stream and also benefit from the £7,500 tax-free allowance uh, via the Rent-A-Room scheme. Join us next time. We'll have more helpful advice on landlord FAQs.